Hello, my dear students of class fifth. I am here with the video of English second, that is Mulberry, and I hope you all are fine and doing good at your homes. So today, we are going to continue lesson number four, as we have already completed explanation, as I have given you the explanation in the previous video of lesson number four. So today. I am going to give you the exercises of lesson number four. So please open page number fifty-nine, where we will start from quick answers. Okay. So here, put a tick against the sentence sentences that are true and a cross against those that are false. So the first sentence is. David had had a com comfortable journey on the way to his aunt's house. No, we have already studied in the chapter. No, he suffered a lot while he was traveling from uh, his own house to his aunt's house. Okay, now students, turn your page, page number sixty, and sentence number B. This is sentence number B. David was neatly dressed when he introduced himself to his aunt. No, false. David's aunt had never seen David before. This is also wrong, because David David's aunt uh, aunt uh, saw him when he was very young. Okay. Next, David's aunt recognized him the moment she saw him at the gate. No, she didn't recognize him. David had had an unhappy life up to the time he came to his aunt's house. Yes. This is right. Next, David uh, did not want to live with the uh, mudstones ever again. This is also right. Next one, David aunt was happy to be David's guardian. Yes, she was happy. Next one, at Canterbury, David's aunt drove away without looking up because she was glad that David David was away at school. No, this is completely wrong. She was not happy. Okay, now dear students, come on page number sixty-one, where we have to solve one crossword. Okay, and in this, uh, no, on you know, on this page, what we have to do? Here are some words. We have to fill opposite of these words means antonyms in these boxes. So, for example, you can see downside, like noisy. cheerfully clean familiar kind so downside you can see the opposite of noisy is quiet okay then second one is cheerfully so for cheerfully that is second number so uh, you can see here cheerfully sadly okay s a d l y like that you have to fill okay so please see this one uh, i'm just reading it out okay then fourth number Uh, fourth number you can see clean okay so st stained here you can see then stained you can see at fourth num in fourth number then fifth number uh, sorry ha fifth number familiar okay so familiar also you can see strange here and the last one eighth one that is kind so the op opposite is cruel same way you have to do the uh, uh, across also slowly nothing cooled worse okay so for slowly you can see hastily okay for uh, nothing you can see everything for he, uh, cooled you can see heated and for worse you can see better and for true the answer is false okay so please complete this in your book next uh, next one this second exercise we will be doing in the next video that is your copy work okay so first i am giving you the book work only please turn your page again here is grammar time okay grammar time so here you are going to study about perfect tense present and past both so in present tense basically this is the definition the present perfect tense means that an action was completed or perfected in the past and the action still has an effect in the present okay so dear student for example you can see the 
uh, first sent uh, this one example here i have walked all the way so you can clearly see that has and have we will be using here and third form of the verb okay so dear students uh, second one you can see i have not slept in bed i have uh, in bed since i began the journey and david has come to meet me meet his aunt so these are the examples so likewise we have to fill one exercise here please see page number 63 here you can see fill in the blanks using the present perfect forms of verb given in the brackets means you just have to you know uh, keep in your mind whether you have what you have to fill has have according to the subject with plurals we will use have including i and we okay and with singulars we will use has and obviously the third form of verb second uh, see the first sentence my grandparents so here we will put have because the grandparents plural just here it is written arrive so we will write third form arrived okay so my grandparents have just arrived next one i cannot play this weekend because i hurt my leg okay because hurt my leg so uh, here you can see clearly dear students please please write down have also here before hurt i have hurt i have hurt what my leg okay because this is present perfect tense okay by mistake it is not written here next one we can see we have lived in this house for 10 years okay we have lived in this house for 10 years next one uh, fourth one any has not met my friends yet i will introduce her okay so meet is written here and we will write met the third form fourth uh, fifth one you can see he is written so before he we will write has has he completed because in bracket it is written here complete so we will write completed the project project question mark okay so this is your exercise now come to the next one next page that is uh, where you will do past perfect tense so first please understand what is past perfect tense this see this yellow box when two actions happen in the past and we want to show which action happened first so we use the past perfect tense okay so for example here you can see the bus see this is example the bus had left by the time he arrived it means bus the action of bus happened before and the man reached after that okay so there are two actions understood next one see the next example we had planted the trees when the rain started means they had already planted the trees and after that the rain started so there are two actions so because uh, on this only uh, one exercise is based you can see exercise number 2 and here what you have to do in the sentences given below underline the action that happened first so it is very easy listen very carefully the first sentence is when i woke up this morning grandfather had made breakfast so means he woke up late and grandfather already made the breakfast so this is the answer means i have already underlined okay it you can see it next one you can see next the the dog had torn the newspaper before grandmother could get it so dog had already torn the newspaper okay so this action happened first third one is the train had pulled out of the station by the time we reached the platform it means train had pulled before pulled out of the station this is the first one first action d1 see the d sentence i had finished my homework when my friends arrived means before uh, his friends arrived he had finished the homework okay so same way you have to do in your book see the third exercise be a perfect detective spot the mistakes and correct them so in these sentences there are mistakes verbs are given wrong 
wrong forms are written here so we have to write correct form see the first sentence i have eight lots of cookies so with have i have told you we will use third form that is eaten so i have eaten this is the mistake here please see that i have eaten lots of cookies okay next one you can see he did not come with us from the film because he had already saw it no with had we will use what which verb third form of verb so that that will be seen okay instead of saw see the third one we have just finished our work just finish finish is wrong we will write finished we will write finished okay fourth one as soon as he had as soon as he had did her homework she went to bed so with the had did is completely wrong we will write done here so she had done her homework and she went to bed see the last one tom was thirsty because he had not drink water all morning no he had not drunk water all morning okay the forms are like drink drank drunk so we will be we are using which form third form that is drunk i hope you all have understood how you have to do these exercises in your book so book work we have completed almost okay and uh what you have to do you have to complete your work and you have to revise whatever we have done question answers reference to context and reflect and write i'll be giving you and the uh, make sentences also i'll be giving you in the next video so till then please take care and study well